Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to go through uh, a walkthrough on how to create uh, an RFQ, a request for code on Luxor's ASIC RFQ platform. Uh, to do so, there's a button here on, on, on the top right. Uh, and here you have like two options. You can either create a buy or a sell RFQ. So if you're uh, an ASIC broker or a miner that has inventory that you want to liquidate, uh, you can go through and create a, a sell RFQ. But if you're looking to acquire new machines, um, expand your fleet, you'll go for uh, the buy option. Uh, here we'll go for buy. Uh, and when you do so, you'll have like this model uh, pop up. Here you have like two tabs, uh, or like two main options here that you need to consider. Uh, you can either create um, an RFQ by quantity or by hash rate. The difference is that when you create by quantity, you're looking for a specific machine model and hash rate variant. Whereas if you create an RFQ by hash rate, you will see that you only have uh, models. So this means that you're willing to take or purchase uh, a mixed batch. So the seller, um, when they are answering the RFQ, they will be able to say, okay, I'm fulfilling your order with uh, this uh, breakdown of, for example, if you want to acquire S19J Pros, it's going to be a breakdown of like 96, 100, 104. Uh, and they will specify all of that in the, in the answer. Uh, here, uh, just for demo purposes, we are going to create an RFQ uh, by quantity. Uh, let's say uh, I want to acquire uh, JPROS, um, 100 hash. Uh, I want to get 100 of those, so I'll input 100 in my total quantity. Uh, and then here I have an option for like partial fulfillment and MOQ. So let's say I'm willing to take um, less than 100 units from uh, different vendors. So for example, I could say, okay, my MOQ, it's going to be 50. I want uh, a vendor to at least submit 50 units to my RFQ. If not, I, I don't want to consider those options. Uh, for now, the platform supports only new machines, but we are adding support for use here in the, in the next uh, couple of weeks. Uh, for expiration, I'm going to do seven days and then payments here. You can select uh, what you prefer. Uh, the the Luxor uh, ASIC RFQ platform supports wire transfer and then stable coins. Um, I'm going to do USDC and wire transfer uh, for, for this example. And then I'm going to go into shipping. Um, here you have like two main options. You can either uh, pick up the machines yourself uh, or you can use Luxor's logistics team and kind of like get support from us in everything that has to do with, with shipping. Um, if you require a lift gate or a specific, you need to schedule a, an appointment for delivery or you want to do cargo insurance, you can select one of these options here. It's going to be a residential, ad a commercial address in this case, and I'm, I'm going to ship the machines to um, Texas. So here, just input uh, what they need, and then I go to disclaimers. These are very important to make sure that you understand the conditions on the platform. And then once you agree, uh, your RFQ uh, will be placed uh, in the platforms. Um, sellers will receive a, a notification uh, to start bidding uh, on your RFQ. Uh, and they will be able to start answering uh, your RFQ. Um, so you see, we just submitted this RFQ for 100 uh, JPROs, 100 hash, um, and then sellers will start answering soon. 